This week I received two products from Vifly and that is the Vifly GPS mate as well as the Vifly strobe. Now in today's video we're going to concentrate on the Vifly strobe, walk you through some of its features and just show you that in use. In a future video we will then be taking a closer look at the Vifly GPS mate. Now if you don't know what the GPS mate is, it's a small device that allows you to power your GPS on your FPV quad separately from your flight battery. The idea of this is to allow you to get GPS lock without wasting valuable battery when sitting on the ground. Now what we will do today is take a closer look at both of these but there will actually be a separate video looking at the GPS mate in a little bit more detail once I've actually had a chance to bolt it onto a quad as well but we will cover the basics on this one today too. Anyway let's get on with this video and let's take a look at what you get with both of these little devices. Okay, so to take a look at both of these devices, now just to be clear before we get into them, Vifly have sent me these for free, however, as always, that will not influence my opinion. I always give you guys my thoughts, but I did just want to make sure that you did understand that they did send these over to me to have a look at. So, first of all, we'll take a quick look at the GPS, mate, and we'll move over to the Vifly strobe. Now, as I've said already, we're not going to go too deep into the GPS, mate, today, because I haven't actually built it up and put it in a quad yet, but just to explain what this little device is. This is a little battery module that will power your GPS for you even if your flight pack isn't connected. The idea of this is that it sits between your GPS module and your flight controller and it allows you to power your GPS up and allow it to get lock without wasting valuable milliamp hour from your flight battery. So whether you're actually starting your flights for the first time today or you've swapped batteries on your main flight pack, this will allow you to keep that GPS powered up and allow it to actually stay powered to get that lock. Now, this little device also has another feature as well. It has a lost model alarm too that you can control from the flight controller as well. As you can see, it simply has a small battery on the back. It has some input and output connections. You also then have some direct soldering pads if you want them too. And it has a button and a little switch. Now this switch here sets the GPS output voltage whether you want it to be 3 or 5.5 volt and the little power button here simply turns it on and off. When you look in the pack you also get the little wiring harnesses for getting it set up. You then also have a set of instructions as well as the installation instructions too and again it's simply showing you that it connects between the flight controller into this module and then on to the GPS. Now, the way it actually works is as follows. When you're ready to actually get your quad in place and get GPS lock, you can simply press and hold the power button on the side here. You get a double beep, and that has now set the output to power up and lets the GPS begin to do its usual boot routine and begin to get lock. When your flight battery is then connected, it will automatically power this charge this battery and fly as normal. Then when you land, you can simply unplug the main flight battery and your GPS will remain being powered. And you can then either manually turn it off by pressing the button again and having a different set of beeps, or you can plug in your next flight pack and go on the way. Now, the device will actually allow the GPS to be powered continuously for about 30 minutes and then it will turn itself off. So it means you can actually set the quad down on the deck, press the button, power it up, let it get its jet, uh, lock in place and everything as you would normally expect. And then when you're ready, plug your flight pack in and go. Now, that is all we're going to talk about on that today. It's a really nice little device. I'm going to be installing it on my quad in the next couple of weeks, and I will be doing a second video actually showing you guys this in use. If you're interested in it, I will put a link to Vifly's website where you can find it. It's really an interesting little device. Whilst something like this isn't really important for large quads where you've got large flight batteries, for our small FPV quads, it is going to save a little bit of milliamp hour, and it's much better letting your GPS sit on the deck for five, 10 minutes, not wasting battery power than rushing to get GPS lock. And that way, you know you're going to get the best return to home or GPS rescue features, depending on what software you're getting. So what we'll do is we'll cover a bit more on this one in the next couple of weeks. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is the Vifly strobe. Now this is an LED device that allows you to add some more visibility to your drone, whether you're flying it in the daytime or at night. Now, just like before, when you open the box, you get the little device in a small bubble wrap package. We get 
our card, which is our thank you card. We get some Velcro that allows us to mount it to the bottom of whatever quad we want to put it onto. And then we get our instructions. Now, this device consists of five three watt LEDs of which three are white, one is red and one is green. It has a 160 milliamp hour battery on the back that will power it for up to four hours use and it is charged by this micro USB port which is located on the end here. Now the device is really simple to use. You simply have a little power button down here which you press and hold which will turn it on and it will actually come on to the last state that you left it on. So it has multiple states depending on what option you've set it through and we'll walk through each of them now but it remembers that state so when you turn it off and turn it back on it will return to the position you've got it into now at the moment as you can see it's flashing red with the single red led and we can scroll through the options simply by pressing the button one at a time so if we press it again it's moved to a solid red it's now moved to a strobing green flashing green solid green that option there is all five LED strobing, so the three white, the red, and the green. And then we then move to the three white strobing, three whites flashing, solid white, and then back to strobing red, and then flashing red, and that takes us back through. Now, the idea of a device like this is to give you more visibility. And to turn it off, you simply press and hold the power button until you get the LEDs flash and turn off. Now, what we're going to do next is just try to give you guys a bit of an overview of how well or how easy this is to see out and about. I'm going to strap it to the bottom of my DJI FPV drone and I'm going to take it out in both daytime and night and just give you a bit of an overview of the kind of visibility this device can offer. So I've got the LED mounted to the bottom of the battery on the DJI FPV drone with the included Velcro and I've got it turned on and it holds nicely. Personally, I might want to put a cable tie around it depending on my setup. Now here you can see it's in early dusk and you can see the LED flashing on the bottom. I've got it set at white and you can see it flashing compared to the other LEDs on the arms. Now when the other LEDs are visible, you are able to easily see the aircraft but where these strobes really come into their own is when you're not actually able to see the leds on the arms so when you turn the aircraft away from you as you can see here and it just makes the visibility much better overall but also make sure that others can see your aircraft as well now as you can see it's getting darker as I continue to film and here you can see it showing it as it's flying around and again you can't really easily see the LEDs on the arms as much here. I've moved it into view where I can see it but you'll then see me turn it away where the LEDs completely vanish and then we're relying on the strobe for visibility and it just still makes the visibility of the aircraft absolutely fine even in almost complete darkness. And that is pretty much it for today's video. Now, as I've already said, we're going to be doing a separate video on the GPS, mate, over the next couple of weeks. And when I'm ready to release that, it will go up on the channel. So if you do hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. That way you'll get a notification when that one comes up. As for the Vifly strobe, as you can see, it does a nice job of providing plenty of additional light, whether it's in daylight or nighttime. Obviously, a device like this does help massively with night flying, but it does help in the daytime too. And if you're interested in getting one, I will put a link to both of these devices in the description of this video. Pricing wise, it's roughly $15 at the moment. I think it's between 15 and 20 usually. So it's not that expensive. And if you are after a high power LED for your drone, it is well worth a look. Now that is it for today's video. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links to buy me a coffee as well as Patreon in the description too. And it is only by you guys supporting us are we able to keep making content like this. Anyway, that's it from me. Please stay safe and I will speak to you guys soon.